Minister of Agriculture, uh, Senegal, and uh, all protocols observed. Sierra Leone is a rice dependent country. For us, rice is both a food and political problem. So therefore, rice for us is so important that uh, His Excellency the President, who has just been elected about four or five months ago, has made rice a flagship program for our food self-sufficiency. We have about uh, four point, about 4.2 million hectares of arable land, which we use, which is at our disposal for agriculture. And most of those uh, arable lands are not being used if, uh, properly. We have so many rivers, water is not a problem. The soil itself is also very good. But there have been in the past series of problems that has been a hindrance to us attaining at least full self-sufficiency. Now, may I just uh, express uh, some of these. One is the nature of uh, agriculture itself, which is subsistence in nature. That, that means it is uh, at subsistence level, that means the production is so rudimentary, mainly depending on cutlass and who. And this has not been helpful to even the farmers, neither to the country. Secondly, with regard to rice, there has been some uh, elements of uh, incoherent policy formulation uh, which has made the really the organization of rice uh, of, of agriculture as a whole uh, a problem. Thirdly, we have uh, uh, the, the illiteracy rate is so high about 67 to 70 percent and that has not encouraged uh, any meaningful insight into innovative pra practices that can help us improve on our production processes and therefore productivity. So with then, then we have, uh, of course, there is very little or no mechanization. There has been a lot of effort through the research station, which we call SLARIS, um, to improve upon input in collaboration with uh, Africa Rice and other research uh, institutions. But because of failed policies, even their effort has not yielded much. But our major problem is the importation of rice. From the records that we made, Sierra Leone imports over 200 million US dollars worth of um, rice annually. And for a population of 7 million, that is just too much. So therefore, the government has made rice a very important um, uh, agricultural recovery uh, entity. And therefore, it's excellent the president has ordered my ministry to make sure by 2023 that we are able to have that import, uh, import uh, cost 
from 200 million to just 100 million. So I'm now seated there with that assignment to make sure we achieve that. That is why this conference is so important for me that I left everything to come here. Now, what, do, what have we done so far? We have done a lot of planning. We have uh, positioned ourselves to develop strategies, strategies that will help us to turn things around. And I'm also very thankful to the Minister of uh, Agriculture of Senegal as I sat down there listening to him when he gave his 12 points, which to me is quite helpful, and which most of it coincides with what we have already thought of to do. We, we are laying priority on rice. Uh, that's production to improve production and therefore productivity. As a matter of fact, the entire value chain system involving rice. That doesn't mean we are going to forget about other crops, as he said. Other crops are also on the table. The only thing is that we are paying more attention to rice because rice is a source of revolution in Sierra Leone. We, what we have done, we decided to mechanize halfway the, the process uh, by introducing uh, uh, tractors, power tillers, by introducing other machines that can help along the value chain from input supply to production to processing, value addition, packaging, up to the market. We are looking forward to really accessing also viable seeds. Because one of the major issues we have is seeds. Most of our seeds are polluted, they are mixed up, and therefore they are not given any better yield. The yields per, per hectare is, it ranges from 0 0.5 to 1.5 metric tons per hectare, which well, we cannot survive with that. We have looked at uh, uh, Africa rice, we have looked at Vietnam, we have looked at China, and uh, we are working with these institutions or countries in order to help us get seeds that can give us yield above three tons per hectare. We, uh, as uh, in Sierra Leone, the other crops we have actually is uh, uh, um, cocoa, coffee, now cashew nuts, and these are coming up handy. And we intend to use funds from those crops, which are export crops, in order to develop further the rice industry. And we are very grateful to Africa Rice and other bilateral um, organizations and countries, including FAO, IFAD, UNDP, EU, ADB, World Bank, and uh, China to be specific in helping us really support the programs we are putting together. We are asking Africa Rise specifically to accompany us in this journey in order to make us rise, rise self-sufficient in Sierra Leone. I thank you all. I thank you for listening.